In this video, you'll see how to create rules in AWS Config to automatically assess, audit, and evaluate the configurations of your Amazon Web Services, or AWS resources, and enforce compliance with your organization's policies and guidelines. We'll start in the AWS Management Console. For the purposes of this example, we'll enforce compliance of an Amazon Compute Cloud, or EC2, instance. Before you can configure the config service, however, you'll need to first ensure that your instances are being managed by AWS Systems Manager. To do this, let's create a role having specific permissions in Identity and Access Management, or IAM. Next, let's search for the appropriate policy to attach to the role. In this case, we want to give Systems Manager permission to manage our EC2 instances. Next, enter a role name. When you're ready, click the button to create the role. Once you've created a role that ensures your instances will be managed by Systems Manager, you can assign the role to existing instances or create new instances. In this case, let's create a new EC2 instance. The config service can be used to monitor either Windows or Linux instances. In this case, we'll create a Windows instance to monitor. Next, let's choose an instance type and then configure the instance details. Let's assign the role we just created to this instance. Tags are key value pairs you can use to categorize your AWS resources in different ways. For example, by purpose, owner, or environment. This can make your resources easier to manage by logically grouping them together. For this instance, let's define a tag that has the key name and the value dev test. Ensure that you have selected the appropriate key pair you want to use to connect to this instance, and then accept the terms. Now, we can launch the instance. Next, we're going to connect to this instance and install the Java runtime environment behind the scenes. This is the software we'll use to illustrate how to enforce compliance. Now. Let's navigate to the AWS Systems Manager, where we should be able to view our managed instance. Under Managed Resources, you can see that the instance we created has indeed been configured for Systems Manager. Next, let's see how you can perform an inventory of software running on your managed instances. First, we'll create an inventory association with a target set of managed instances by specifying a tag. Here, we'll narrow our scope down to instances with the name we tagged earlier. When the inventory runs, it will collect details on installed applications, AWS components, network configuration, and other information. Once you've reviewed the details, you can set up the inventory to run and begin collecting information from managed instances. After the inventory has run, you can review the information collected for each instance. In the list of applications, you can see that Java is installed on this instance. Let's make a note of the exact name of the application so we can use it later when we set up our monitoring rule. Finally, let's verify here that the config service is recording configuration changes to our resources. Recording is on, so we're set. Now, let's navigate to the config service, where we can create a new rule that will monitor configuration changes in our resources. You can use or customize existing rules, or you can add custom rules to suit your needs. In this case, Let's look for rules that blacklist non-compliant applications. Let's select this rule that checks that none of the specified applications are installed on the instance. 
Here, we'll specify the exact application name for Java that we noted earlier. You can choose what remediation action to take on a non-compliant resource. Remediation actions are executed using AWS Systems Manager automation. There are a wide variety of actions you can take, such as sending an Amazon Simple Notification Service, or SNS notification, to generate an email message or trigger an AWS Lambda function. You can also create your own custom remediation actions. In this case, we're going to specify an action to stop the EC2 instance. We also need to specify the instance ID as the resource parameter. Now we are ready to create the rule. After some time, the rule will finish evaluating against our running instances. Let's refresh the results. The rule has identified one non-compliant resource. Let's investigate further. Here we can drill into the details of an individual resource. Viewing the installed applications, we can see that Java is installed on this instance. Let's run our predefined remediation action and see what happens. Now, let's return to our EC2 instances. As expected, we can see that this instance is now stopped. Behind the scenes, we'll uninstall Java from this instance. Now, let's start the instance again. Now, we'll return to our config rules. When we refresh the results, we can see this rule is now compliant. And when we filter on compliant resources, we can see the instance that was previously non-compliant. You've just seen how to create rules in AWS Config to automatically assess, audit, and evaluate the configurations of your AWS resources and enforce compliance with your organization's policies and guidelines. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.